Of course, we all know there's so much to see and explore in Italy's every little corner, starting from incredible architecture and historical landmarks that will transport you through time, to museums, delicious cuisine, scenic views and much, much more. But one thing that you might not expect to see when visiting any Italian town is the amount of water fountains that have been built over the years. You're guaranteed to bump into it at least one, if not more, every time you step outside your hotel room. So, why don't we go over the top 5 Italian water fountains and get you travel ready? If this sounds like something you're interested in, whether because you're traveling to Italy or you're just curious to find out more, stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. Trevi Fountain, Rome It would be a crime not to start with the Trevi Fountain. Does the name ring a bell? Don't worry, we're about to unfold all the details about the most grandiose and famous fountain of Italy, which is quite conventionally located in the city of Rome. It is important to know that, originally, this landmark was created to function as an aqueduct that provided the Romans with clean water in 19 BC. At the time, it was called Aqua Virgo, meaning Virgin's Water in English due to a myth which tells us that a beautiful young woman had led thirsty soldiers to the clean water of the aqueduct. Later on, it became popular as Trevi. You will discover the reason it is called so when you visit it. But here is a clue what to look out for. The fountain stands on a trivium, Latin word for three streets or trevie in Italian, intersecting, so you will find yourself standing on a three street intersection when admiring the beautiful fountain that has been named after its location. Here. You can also make a wish to go back to Rome if you throw a coin once in the water with your right hand over the left shoulder, twice if you would want to marry a Roman and thrice if you would like to go back to Rome with your newfound love. Fountain of Four Waters, Rome Moving on from the iconic white marble fountain onto our next Roman landmark, which is the Fountain of Four Waters or Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi. As the name suggests, this fountain represents four rivers and their countries. The god of the Nile is for Africa, Danube for Europe, the Ganges for Asia and the Rio de la Plata for both Americas. All of these river gods were sculptured by different sculptures, but the main design is courtesy of a major Italian architect and sculptor, Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi has been standing strong on Piazza Navona, Rome, since the 17th century. This architectural landmark is a must-see, and we highly recommend carving out some time to appreciate it in real life, as everything looks gorgeous on photos, but cannot be compared to the real thing. Fountain of the 99 Sprouts, L'Aquila We're slowly getting closer to our final fountain, but before then, let's talk about the beautiful 13th century design of the Fountain of the 99 Sprouts. L'Aquila, a central commune in Italy, is home to this medieval fountain which is not designed in the way you would expect traditional fountain to be. It is not polished, it is not grand, and it does not carry much meaning. At least, that's what we think today due to the lack of information. Fontana delle 99 Canele suggests that this fountain indeed has 99 different water sprouts, which are actually stone faces carving into it. However, the meaning of this remains a mystery. Legend has it that the number 99 was linked to the number of Italian castles around the city, but unfortunately, that's about all we know. The inward facing sprout that pour into a quite a big basin create a very ominous and and interesting feeling which you have to experience if ever in L'Aquila. Fountain of Neyads, Rome. And last but definitely not least is another Roman fountain going by the name of Fontana delle Neyadi. You will be able to visit the 19th century landmark in Piazza della Repubblica. It was originally assumed to Alessandro Guerreri to design, but the Neyad sculptures were an addition made by Mario Rutelli a decade later. These four Neyads, or nymphs, are all from classical mythology. 
the nymph of the lakes, the nymph of the rivers, the nymph of the oceans, and the nymph of groundwater. The reason for this fountain existing is no more special than any other fountain in Italy, having clean water in forms of aqueducts. This extraordinary modern fountain has to go on our Italian bucket list. And that brings us to the end of this video. We really hope you enjoyed finding out a little bit more about the history behind these beautiful landmarks. Now you can enjoy the famous sights of clear blue water basins and historical sculptures as you appreciate the land of Italy. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and thumbs up this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.